You know, for years, Dwayne Carraway was one of the most powerful politicians in City Hall. He spent decades on the council and was briefly the Dallas mayor. But it all fell apart four years ago when Carraway pleaded guilty to taking hundreds of thousands of dollars in kickbacks and bribes. Yeah, Carraway just sat down with Jason Whiteley for the first in-depth on-camera interview since being released from federal prison. And Boy, he had a lot to say. He did have a lot to say. You know, right now, Dwayne Carraway is starting to look for ways to get back involved in his community. One month from tonight, he turned 70 years old, but neither age nor prison appear to be holding him back. Thank you. Before our interview really began, yes, Dwayne Carraway felt it necessary to open with this. I'm, I'm not happy about what did take place. I, I want to make sure that I always offer my sincere apology to make sure that folks know that I was very embarrassed to go through this, uh, to have done these things, but I've taken responsibility and and here I am. Caraway returned to Dallas last August and is now giving his first in-depth interview to our Yolitix political podcast. We noticed one thing that federal prison did not change. That's Caraway's passion and his personality. Remembering here when he first got to the penitentiary near Midland, Odessa. Well, folks knew me. They know me everywhere I go. I mean, and you Big know. Spring out there in the middle of the Permian Basin or close to the Permian Basin. Well, where do you think all of, all the inmates coming from? Right, right in here and everywhere else. Hell, I mean, they, they, <laughs> they, 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 you know, they knew me. They knew Did, what was happening. So, so people knew you when you got there. Yeah, everywhere I went. Four years ago, Caraway pleaded guilty to taking more than four hundred thousand dollars in bribes. Just a decade earlier, though. Caraway watched his friend and former Dallas Councilman Don Hill go to prison on federal corruption charges of his own. At what point did you think that, you know, taking a mortgage or taking any other gifts, I was like, ah, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I saw what happened to Don, my friend Don Hill. Uh, that, it, it, was, it was not that. never that, struck it, you? It was, it, why? I wasn't doing anything wrong. Was, like, by, was, by, uh, by taking any of that stuff, you, oh, didn't, you didn't think it was no, wrong? No, I didn't take, I wouldn't, what did I do? But now they say I did it, so I'm not going to sit here on this radio show and, 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 and bulk it up, okay? Unlike Don Hill, Caraway did not fight his charges. Since being back, though, Caraway said he thinks Dallas has regressed, pointing to trash in parts of his old district in Oak Cliff, a surge in crime across the city while he was gone, and little to no investment in minority neighborhoods south of Interstate 30. Caraway ran down a list of things that he says still need to be done. You sound like somebody who's running for office. You can't. I'm not, I, can't, I'm not, I may run for president of the NAAC to put the way it look. I yeah. might have to do something. You can't ever tell. I'm going to remain involved because if you were sincere, as I'm sincere, of representing this community and my community and this city, it doesn't disappear when you come back if you were serious from the beginning. You're forbidden uh, to run for city council again, for public office like that again, but you can still do these community organizations, obviously. Why, why even do that, though? I mean, Why not? Because you're so well known. you got an audience here for the Hell, podcast. I'm representing all these people over here. Why even take the time to go to the NAACP? Why not just why not? be the one-man show? That you why do I, I don't want to be a one-man show. I want to be a unified show and get people to be involved so we can, as a community, clean up our community. It's not just me. What's priority one, Dwayne? I don't know yet. I can't think right now. You got me all mixed up right now. You, got me all mixed. you got me going all over the place. Dwayne Carraway planning his comeback after refusing to see prison as a setback. Besides his time in prison, Dwayne Carraway must also pay back $565,000 in restitution. This afternoon, the court said he is paying that down $25 a month. We had a lot of questions for Caraway. What more needs to be done regarding ethics at Dallas City Hall? And how can the public spot corruption in the future? Caraway answered it all in the special episode of Yolitics. We dropped about 9 o'clock tonight. To listen, search for Yolitics wherever you get your podcasts. Cynthia. All right. Good stuff, Jason. Thank you.